Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. And I got a pretty decent response from you guys with the uh, adjustable shackle of the Cobra Knot. So I figured I'd do the snake knot as well, just to show you how that one's done. So I do apologize if my voice sounds a little off. I am fighting off a bit of a cold, but I am getting better. So uh, I'll be back to normal soon, hopefully. But anyways, um, yeah, again, we're doing an adjustable shackle bracelet. And uh, this is the snake knot. So um, it's not very much different from using, uh, I guess, the knot and loop method. Uh, but as you can see, just a slight difference. Okay, so it is very simple. And uh, yeah, again, it uses this three position adjustable shackle. If you're looking for a supplier for these, you can check out paracordplanet.com. And uh, they do have a great selection of paracord as well. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, so I got my paracord ready here. And uh, I've got about seven and a half feet, but I'll annotate the exact amount as I always use uh, down here. So we've got our adjustable shackle. Uh, obviously, this is the adjustable sizing piece. We've got the shackle part. So to start out the snake knot, we're going to just do a cow's hitch through one side here, like so. And then from here, we simply start weaving our snake knot. And I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that one, but let's go over it again. So we're going to take the strand on the right. We're going to do a loop behind. Sorry, strand on the left. And we're going to do a loop behind the strand on the right. Like this. Okay. And we're going to take this strand here. We're going to go behind the strand on the left. You're going to put that end through here, like so. Okay, and from there we have our snake knot. Okay, and I'm just going to cinch all this up. First one might be a little tricky. All right, so this is going to be done using the uh, the snake knot method, where it's just uh, you know, a bunch of singular snake knots tied one after the other. Uh, you'll know what I mean if you've done my other snake knot tutorials, but we're just going to keep this one simple and do that. Okay, so that's pretty much the snake knot. Uh, we're going to continue tying those again. So loop behind the right, take this strand behind the left, and go through the loop like so. Okay, so that's a much quicker way of doing it. You don't have to go all the way to the end. Okay, so I'm going to continue tying my snake knots and I'm going to go all the way down my bracelet. So as you can see, this is different um, from the uh, Cobra knot adjustable because we're not weaving down a core. We're just uh, weaving down two strands. So I'm going to weave the length of my bracelet and I'll show you guys how to uh, connect it to the end piece. Alright, so as you can see, I've woven the entire length of my bracelet. Everything looks good. So now when we get down to the end, we're working with our uh, adjustable piece here. There's a couple ways to do this. Um, I'll show you, I guess, the more, uh, I guess, secure way. Well, I guess you can call it easier way. So we're going to take one strand, feed it through the loop like this. And um, you want to make sure they correspond. Actually, we'll do this. Sorry. So let's take a strand on the left here. I'm going to go through do the loop. I'm going to take the other strand and push that through here. Okay, so there's two ways of doing this. You can just pull everything tight like this, as you can see here. You can just snip and singe, like right here and right here. And um, just when you go to melt your uh, paracord, just make sure you have something. I'm going to use my little tool here, I'm going to press down on it to make sure it mushrooms out so it doesn't move. Or if you want to be extra secure about it, what you can do is um, you can kind of go back and tie a single cobra knot right here, like so. I'm going to pull that tight. And there you go. You see? So um, you don't have to do that, but I think if you want to be really safe about it and uh, be, have it be more, more secure, you can do this. But if you want to go for a slightly cleaner look, you can just uh, take and not do the Cobra Knot. Just keep it, the two strands pass through like this. Just make sure you pull very tight before you do this and also uh, make sure 
you don't cut it too short so that it slips back through. Uh, I'm probably going to finish off mine like this just because it's a little cleaner. So I'm going to snip and singe here and here and we'll be done. Alright, and there we have it guys, I'm done. So you can see here, uh, I snipped and singed my paracord and uh, it looks pretty good I think. So again, if you want it to be more secure, you can do that Cobra stitch, uh, but you don't have to. Alright, so this has been the uh, snake knot with the adjustable D-shackle. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you are looking for a, a good source of uh, online, if you're looking for an online retailer for paracord and paracord supplies, check out paracordplanet.com. And uh, yeah, you'll find a lot of great products there. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe and like. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.